Welcome back to the Nerdyverse, I'm Danny. I'm Chang. And here we are then for some more of a show content today. It is season two, episode 22, called Parents. Indeed. We ended last episode on them finally finding the boss room and heading towards the teleporter. So are we finally going to get a reunion with his whole family and finally see Zenith again? That would be nice. I hope that happens. I genuinely do hope that happens. So Indeed. I, I, it's been a long time coming. So should we see what's going to happen then? Indeed. Let's do it. Okay, three, two, one, one. Let's go. Let's go. Iruna, do you do, Paolo? Mada yoyu aru ga ita modoru ってのも手だぜ。いや、進む。それぞれの装備の確認をし。Takes a step onto the portal, and you just see the smiling statue from Solo Leveling. Oh God, could you imagine? <laughs> you like that? They're all dead. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Time for the boss fight. Has everybody got their equipment ready? <laughs> Spells on the hotbar. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Please don't be a smiling statue. Please don't be a, spo a smiling statue. <laughs> Turns around, smiling statue. <laughs> Jesus. That's a pretty uh, hard boss to face. Indeed. It looks pretty insane. Oh. There she is. There's Xena. Why is she naked? <laughs> god knows. Oh god, Paul, why are you going in recklessly? It's alright. Go aggressive, go aggressive, go aggr full aggressive, everybody. Full aggressive. Oh dear. The cancelled oh, out. Shit. Wow. Has it got like magic deflection or something? Jesus Christ, though, Paul. Hello, let's go. No. <laughs> oh, the animation. <laughs> let's go. Paul is ready, mate. He does not give a fuck. <laughs> Anything for his wife. His oh, first wife. yes, Paul. We're finally seeing him go all out. <laughs> and he is fucking badass. Nice. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. The scales seem really hard. Jesus, man, this thing is strong. Yeah, it seems to be like repelling magic. That's not good because it means that none of these are useful, yeah. really, apart from all of their powerhouses, like Roxy and Rudy, are just completely useless. It seems. Can, he, can Rudy not get his sword though? Because he's got a little bit of sword skill, hasn't he? Yeah, but his sword skills are pretty fucking crap. Classic Hydra. Yeah, of course the Hydra regenerates. Oh, fuck's sake, Paul, you need to keep your cool. I don't blame Paul, though, man. Imagine your wife's literally just there. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit, he's really fucking losing it. Okay, they can teleport out. How the freaking hell are they going to beat that, though? Indeed. That did not go well. <laughs> At least they managed to escape. So annoying, isn't it? Like the, they've got two of the most powerful magic users and they can't even use them. I know. I guess that kind of balances the fight out, isn't it? That Rudy can't just carry. Well, I hope you should know it was there, mate, because... He isn't. He's still. I'm sure she is. She'd be in a frozen state. Yeah. You still need to retrieve the body, even if she's dead. Fucking hell, he's completely losing it. Problem is, they haven't even got time to like get them up to date, up to skill on like hand to hand, have they? Either they can't have the time. <sighs> I think Paul needs to hear it though, doesn't he? 
I guess that kind of explains why he can remain so calm and he's not that sort of connected to her. But I think they kind of need him to be calm because, yeah, Paul's just kind of losing it. Yeah. He isn't thinking straight. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is sacrifice the entire squad. <sighs> Fuck's sake, Paul. I get it. From both sides. I do. Yeah, but at the same time, he's not going to be able to rescue her if he doesn't keep calm. Can they just grab and run, maybe? Like, get, get her, keep, keep the... I don't think so. Did you see the size of that thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering if they can keep it busy, though. And then the others go in, like, the magic users go in and get her mm. out. Maybe. Manatite. Question is, why is she randomly crystallized behind a hydra, though? I don't get that. Exactly. How did she get there? Someone's put her there, but I don't know who. Indeed. That's not something that just happens. Ah. That, that would make sense, right? Yep. And uh, he won't be able to defend that because it's a dead head, isn't it? So he just like, gets, mm -hmm. won't be able to defend magic. Yeah, because if he cauterizes the wound, then it wouldn't be able to heal from it, would it? Yeah. The other, the other way is to flame sword up. So, you know, put fire onto the swords. Yeah. Didn't mention his son's name though. Okay. Yeah, I guess Rudy hasn't been on this entire journey with him though, has he? No, true. I'm guessing he's got his own sort of personal sort of message for Rudy. He's saying it because he's going to die in this fight, mate, so... Oh, God, please don't. <laughs> he's setting up so many death flags right now. <laughs> yeah, he is, mate. These speeches, I'm always like, yeah, there's a high chance. He's just increased his death. Yeah, here we go. He's going to say some lovely words. Yeah. This is definitely setting up a death flag. For an episode that was released on Father's Day. That's a good point. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> so, it'll be fine, <laughs> right? <laughs> they wouldn't do that on Father's Day. Right. Everyone's calm this time. Are we going to be able to? And we've got a plan. Hopefully, round two will go better. Yes. Right. Going in as a squad this time. Let's go. Paul's the goat this time. I know, I do love seeing like Paul fight, he's actually badass. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. oh, he said he needs to be close for the magic to work, didn't he? Yeah. Easier said than done, mate. Bloody hell, that thing grows back quick.
They spent all their budget <laughs> on this episode. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this so reminds me of Sword Art Online, like how they're having to like do the switch to like sort of yeah deflect Not. the attacks and stuff. Is it working? I think it has, yeah. Yeah, it's working. Nice. Right, this can work. Unless Paul gets eaten. How many more heads are there? Oh, it's, it's good nice, that she um, works as the tap. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh Ellen has got hit. thought it sort of died then. I was like, what? No, no. They've nearly got through all the heads already. How many are left? Is it three heads left? I think so. What's not right? Wait, what? Is oh, it eating shit. his own head? Is it eating the cauterized bit so it can regenerate? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, is she going to do like a fire spell on it? Oh, freezing it. Nice. <laughs> oh, animation went a bit wonky nice. there. But <laughs> so they need to get rid of the heads quickly before they continue. Yeah. To Wait, what are they yeah, doing Yeah, it looks now? like there's just three left. Oh, God. Flamethrower. Hyper beam. Oh, they're doing the Godzilla move. They're doing the Godzilla move. No. I think so. Water shield. Ooh, oh, cool. is it enough? Is it gonna hold? Oh, yeah, nice. That's one fire head down. They're all gone. Nice. Go, go, go. Oh, here comes the counter attack. Let's go. That's one. Two more left. Oh, Paul is so badass. <laughs> yeah, yes, Paul. Paul's a legend, man. <laughs> Jesus. At this point, he can have two women. Fuck, you know. <laughs> Jesus he <Christ>. deserves it. <laughs> come on. Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh, oh no. no. No, come on, man. Oh, God. Is he okay? Uh, well. Oh shit. What's he doing? Wait, what the oh fuck? shit! Alright, Oh my Jesus. god. Jesus. He got angry because of what happened to his father, didn't he? Oh shit, he's lost his arm. Yeah. Fucking hell, how strong are those eyelids? Well, I suppose it is a... What did they say it was coming in? It's crystallised, isn't oh, it? Oh, so, mana crystals. Oh, yeah, so it'd be a crystallised eyelid, wouldn't it? Jesus Christ. Well, I don't actually know if Paul made it out alive there. Yeah, we didn't see what happened. He, What we saw was him push Rudy out of the way. Rudy definitely lost an arm, though. You're definitely right for that. We definitely saw an arm go. Yeah. There's two things oh, we need to check shit. here. People really need to heal, but also where's where's Paul? Yeah. Okay. Is he going to be able to regenerate his arm through healing magic? I don't know, because I feel like that would be an ask, right? I think certain levels of healing magic can, but I'm not sure if he's got enough level. If... Oh. Okay, so he has. Oh, wait, no, oh. that's not a full arm. I think wait. he just healed the wound so it's not bleeding anymore. Okay, so yeah, he doesn't have strong enough level to regrow limbs. But he still lost an arm, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Where is Paul, though? Where is he? No time to smile, where are you? He's dead, isn't he? Oh, no. He's dead. He's dead. They've all got the shock face on them. Yeah. 
Oh. He sacrificed himself for him. He's split in half. Yeah, he's gone. Oh. Fucking hell. Happy Father's Day. I don't know, right? Fucking bastards. The fucking nerves of them to release this on I know, Father's Day. As if Day. they did that. Like, come on. They should have at least skipped the week. Yeah, actually smiled because they did actually manage to succeed in their mission. Yeah, but here's the worst bit. They're going to save them, his mum now, and then she's going to immediately see this and she's going to top. Indeed. Oh, fuck you sake. Oh. Never a happy moment. Finally you know get reunited. Do you know what's worse year. as well? What? Remember when we had the one week gap because of the uh, the, the 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 sort of um, what was it called the the, the episode where oh, turning point we had that turning point episode so they had they had a week gap didn't they? <laughs> they planned this. They planned it. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. Oh wow! Is that it? Is that wait? No, no. It's oh, not. no. I was going to say. Oh, shit. Don't, They're going to have no, to break the news oh, they, to Lilia. They've deliberately not got any kind of, like, mu barely yeah. any music on or anything, man. God damn it, man. Oh, this is fucking tragic. <sighs> Did they even bring his body back? Don't. Doesn't look like it. I'd have thought they'd have brought it back to try and bury him or something, but I'm not sure if they did or not. Oh wow, Lily is managing to keep her cool. Now, was this the regret that Man God was on about, or I think so, yeah. Because if you think about it, if Rudy was never there, Paul wouldn't have had to save him. So Paul probably wouldn't have died, would he? Yeah, it's a solid point. Because he died pushing Rudy out of the way. Yeah. But then in theory, would Roxy have been saved and all that? It's one of those, isn't it? It's like, what? No, they did retrieve oh, they the did. body. Okay. Oh. Do, you know, do you know the worst bit as well? Is that forever he's going to be looking at his arm and he knows that he associates what happened with his arm the whole time now. Yeah, he's going to blame himself, isn't it? Because it was kind of his fault. Yeah, he was standing in the way. He hesitated he needed... for a yeah. second. Oh, dear. We just had him get out of one depression. Is he, is he just going to spiral back into one now? The worst bit is it should be a cheery day, right? But I know. It's not. It's like all he's done is swap his parents out, isn't it, really? Exactly. Oh, Zenith's awake. Now, how much is she going to remember, etc., because I don't even know the effect that crystal will have. Exactly. Mum? Huh? Yeah, she doesn't remember. God damn it, man. Oh, for God's sake. Have they done a casca? I don't know what that is, but probably. Oh, don't tell me they've done that. Oh, wow. What a lovely episode named Parents. Yeah, top. That was, that was a really happy episode. That was, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Why what did, did you think that of that episode? Day, man. They put that on Father's Day. Oh. Fuck That's... me, that was rough. That's shocking that they put that on Father's Day. What the hell? See, we're late coming to into this, so that this is why I'm glad that you somehow managed to avoid the spoilers for this episode. Because fuck it, out, it hits hard. Like <laughs> it's so depressing.
yeah, I don't even know what to say. I just. Uh, I, I'm worried for Rudy because, like, he's gonna take, he's gonna blame himself for this because, yeah, Paul did die, like, pushing him out of the way. Yeah. It was kind of a bittersweet moment to see, like, Paul's, like, last action was, like, smiling because he knew that, you know, they had succeeded and he was able to save his wife. But then we've got this other depressing realization of Zenith finally woken up and she's kind of. Unresponsive, like yeah. unable to talk in a sort of uh, it's just blank state. So, yeah, like, <laughs> what did he? What did he achieve out of this? Like, they saved his mother only for her to be in like an unresponsive state, pretty much, and they lost Paul and in the middle of it as well. So, yeah, I'm guessing this is uh, the regret that the man god was talking about. Ah, oh, well, that was a bloody cheery episode, wasn't it? Indeed. But do you know what the thing is, though? You you know how we're saying, like, if Rudy never came, then yeah, what would have he happened, would regret but, it. Yeah. And, and uh, I, well, I'm hoping there's not more to it. I'm hoping, like, because... Hmm. I, and when I said, so at the end there, I said, have they done a casket? Let me explain that. So that, um... When I say done a casca, so Berserk obviously is casca. Um, mm. And in, in Berserk, what they do is have a traumatic moment, an incredibly traumatic moment. for. I mean, Christ, it is incredibly traumatic though in Berserk because the whole world is very traumatic, where she basically, uh, after all the trauma, she forgets how to talk and all that sort of stuff. She's basically just become a complete and utter mess. Yeah. I don't know, and I don't know if they've done it to that degree, but it seems to be the similar thing in terms of she, barely, she can't even talk. Like, can't even... It does seem like it, yeah. So I don't know if she can't talk through trauma or if she can't talk through whatever the hell the crystal thing does. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Possib- probably a combination of both. The question is, can she recover from this or is this permanent? Because if it's permanent, then that's fucked up. Like <laughs> that is so messed but up. If it's permanent, that it goes even more into what Man God was saying. You will regret this because actually. In theory, it, it probably would have been the nicest. He doesn't have either of his parents. In yeah, this state, really, does he? Yeah, he's lost both. Yeah, so yeah, I don't actually. No, I don't even know now if it was worth it when you think about it now, because you go hold it a minute. He cared about Paul, and he made that very clear, didn't he? Like he, he hasn't really had the mother for his whole yeah, life. So it's, but I mean, he has sort of interacted and met Paul several times now, and has actually grown closer to Paul, where he does yeah. kind of consider Paul a father. So, yeah, I feel like this is going to hit him really hard, and I'm worried about him going into the de- into this depression again, yeah. because we only just got him out of the last one, and the last one was bad. So it's just like, is this one going to be equally as bad? Like, I feel like a girl leaving him con- compared to you know his father dying and p- it being his fault. I feel like that's going to hit him a lot worse, probably. So. Yeah, I'm very concerned about what direction this is going to take Rudy as a character. Like, what is he going to be able to get back home okay? Like, what what is he going to be like with Sylphie and the baby? Like, Not good, mate. Let's is he going to be way. able to sort of step up and be a father? Or is he just going to be, like, in a complete unresponsive state as well? Like, is he just going to completely shut down? It's definitely going to be interesting to see what direction it goes. But yeah, any any other thoughts from you for this episode? No, just devastating, isn't it? Really, when you think about it, it's just ah. Well, that's that then, isn't it? <laughs> they fucking did it well. And I guess on another topic, on a lighter note, like fuck me, the animation was good. Like Paul fighting the Hydra. Like some of those animations were bloody clean. Like him. Weaving around, like slicing off those yeah, heads, true. look yeah, fucking true. badass. That's a fab one. Yeah, I'm just gutted we've lost him now. Like it was so cool to see him, like actually fight at full strength. And yeah, unfortunately, we have lost Paul. <sighs> Hopefully, in the future, we might be able to see other sword swordsman characters like Gislaine, Gillane, or Eris, like fighting on that level. Like I have hope for this sick swords fighting like animations. Ah, just depressed, mate. 
I know, right? <laughs> then you know what to say. <sighs> so, oh, great. Sorry. Happy Father's Day, everyone. <laughs> I know, but that's the worst <laughs> bit. You assholes. Like, seriously, man. What the hell? You can't just do that. Like, oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Hmm. Like, they literally at, delayed the, the episode schedule, to time they've been, that. <laughs> they must have been sitting there looking at the schedule going, oh, guys, guys, guys. If we delay it one week, guess what? We'll make it clash with Father's Day. Why don't we do that? And they've gone, oh, I like that. To be fair, I'm curious if that is a coincidence or not, because Father's Day is different in different countries, so I'm not sure if it's the same day in Japan as the UK or if it's different, like in America. It just seems very convenient, mate. Yeah, like <laughs> we just got the worst timing or the best timing for that episode. I don't know. <laughs> you can decide. Well, I'll be fascinated to see what everybody else thinks. This would be a very talkative episode, I feel. I feel a lot of people will want to get involved with this one. But um, yeah, let us know in the comments. What did you think? <laughs> what did you think yeah. about the Father's Day situation as well? Especially for those of you that are the UK followers, you'll know obviously it definitely is a Father's Day thing for us. I don't know, again, yeah. if it's an American one or whether, you know, we're not sure about the rest, but for us it definitely is a Father's Day episode. But, um, yeah, let us know what you thought. <laughs> I, I, I guess we'll deal with the aftermath of the weekend, shall we? Yeah, I guess I'll go uh, cry myself to sleep. So see yeah. you guys next week. See you in a bit, guys. guys. Bye. <laughs>